Good day, good day, good day. Greetings to everyone. Greetings and salutations. Welcome, welcome, welcome. This is another message from Marie's message. Yes, Marie has another message for you today. News release. Breaking news, breaking news. Greetings, good day. Good evening, good night from wherever you are around the world, from the four corners of the world. Welcome, America, welcome, Africa, Europe, the Caribbean. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Today, Marie has a message for you, a news report from the Gleaner. Jamaican man charged in U.S. for traveling to meet a minor for sex. A Jamaican man has been arrested and charged in Florida for traveling to have sex with a minor. A news release from the Florida Department of Law Enforcement said the investigation began in August when 31-year-old Taji Samuels messaged an undercover agent who was posing as a 14-year-old girl. The department said he planned to meet with the agent after sending lewd photos of himself. Believing he was meeting up with a young girl, Samuels traveled to Pensacola, Florida, from Jamaica, where he was charged. He was charged with one count of traveling to meet a minor to engage in sexual conduct after online solicitation. Seven counts of transmission of harmful materials to minors and one count of use of a two-way communications device to facilitate a felony. Mr. Samuels has not received bail. Now my people, Mr. Samuels is 31 years old. He was trying to solicit a 14-year, what he thought was a 14-year-old girl in the United States. Now, for him to travel from Jamaica to the United States, that means that he had legal papers, legal documentation that gave him access to travel from Jamaica to enter the United States. So the United States grant the United States and Jamaica granted him the proper documents to travel abroad. And this is what Mr. Samuels used his documentation to do. Instead of traveling to the United States to try to find a job, to gain employment, to better himself, to contribute to the society, he decided to take the opportunity that was given to him to travel in order to come to the United States to solicit a young 14-year-old child. Think about that for a minute. You bought a ticket, got on a plane, and traveled to another country in order to gain access to a 14-year-old girl. And you are 31 years years old. What do you think the United States is going to do with this man?
what do you think is going to happen to him? See, in Jamaica, there are no DNA database systems set up. There are a lot of crimes, rapes, and, and, and murders and things that go on in Jamaica that people are able to get away with. But when it comes to the U.S., the United States, when it comes to America, they don't play that. You will get caught. And once you are caught, they will convict you and you will be a pedophile. You will be listed as a child predator and a pedophile for the rest of your life. And you will serve time in prison. And if you make it out of prison alive, you will have to report to the authorities on a regular basis because you are a pedophile. There are certain neighborhoods and zones that you will not be allowed to live in or come near because those neighborhoods have schools and children. That's how they do it here in America. I don't know what sickness was going through this man's mind. But Mr. Samuels, you are a sick individual. And there's other words that I want to use to describe you. But I can't say that on this video. You are sick and disgusting to travel all the way from Jamaica to come to the United States to have sex with a minor. I am thankful that you got caught. I am thankful that you were not able to get to a child to harm them. This could have been my niece. This could have been my daughter. There are predators out here preying on our children and they're using social media to do it. I am begging and asking every parent out there, whether you're a father or mother, auntie or uncle, if you care about your children, if you care about your nieces and nephews, please monitor what they do on social media. Please monitor their phones and their phone messages and phone calls. Please monitor their laptops and their, their tablets that they always use. Because there are predators out here like Mr. Samuels and they are all over the world. Now what will happen to Mr. Samuels? He is going to be charged. And I don't know if Florida, well, Florida don't play. It's a big, big state. Florida is a big state. And they don't play when it comes to crimes like this. So either he's going to be charged and serve time in prison here in Florida in the United States. And then deported. Or he is going to be processed and deported back to Jamaica. Never to be able to enter the United States again. And knowing predators like Mr. Samuels, who have an addiction 
for sexuality with children. He will probably find another island or another place to go to try to prey on children. Hopefully when I post this video, I'll be able to post a picture of Mr. Samuels so that you all can see who this 31 year old predator is. And let me tell you, this is going on every day, all over the world. He was just one of the few that was able to be picked up by the system. This is happening in Jamaica all the time. But it, because of the, the, the corruption in the criminal justice system, these predators do what they do and they continue to get away with it. Now, why did this sick, twisted individual think that he could come to the United States and try that same thing is beyond me. But I am so glad that one more, one more sick pedophile has been taken off the streets. And I thank those undercover agents who were able to capture him. And that is my news story for today. This is Marie's message. Until next time. Be good to yourself and to others. Have a good day.